Alright, so what we're looking at here is my iPad 2, and if you have an iPhone, it's going to be a very similar process. It might just look slightly different. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go to my settings app on the front of my homepage here. And on the left hand side, you see mail, contacts, and calendars highlighted there in blue. Make sure that's selected. And then you're going to go over to the right hand side, and where it says add account, go ahead and select that. The next thing you want to do is select Microsoft Exchange. And then when you're this window pops up, you need to fill in all the fields here except for the domain. So the email, this is the one you want to put your Gmail account that you have through the school district. I already have mine copied, so I'm just going to paste mine in there, save time. The domain, once again, will be left blank. The username will, once again, be my Google password that the school district provided. And then my password, I'm going to put that in. And once your password's in, you're going to go down to the, the description box and go ahead and name it something. This is totally up to you, but you can name it something that will help you remember what this account is all about. So I'm going to go ahead and just make mine VCPUSD so I know that that is my work account. And then go ahead and hit Next. You should get this little box that pops up that says Server. And this is a very important step. Make sure you type this in exactly. You want to do m.google.com. And once again, remember the domain will be left blank. Hit next, and we should get a bunch of check marks saying that we're all set up. And now we're going to go into this other window here. And mail and calendars both need to be on. So if they're not, make sure they're set to on. The contacts is optional. So you let, let you decide what you want to do with that. So after you have your mail and calendars both on, go to save. And your account should be created. Now you can see that we have VCPUSD account created here. And we're ready to move on to our next step, which is making sure that our mobile device is synced with Google. So next you're going to hit the home button on your device. So hit the home button. takes us back to the home screen. Choose Safari, your internet browser for your iOS device. Then you're going to go ahead and type in this address. So it should be familiar. It's the m.google.com. Go ahead and go there. And you're looking for the sync option. The sync option is the circle with the blue arrows. And you notice I have two devices on there. I did my iPhone, so I want to do my iPad now. So select which device. And you want to make sure that the button that says Enable Send Mail As for this device is selected. So I'll make that on there. And then notice that it only has one of my calendars selected, the collins.je at vcpsd.org. That's my one calendar I have synced currently. I want to make sure that I have my son's karate schedule and my softball schedule also synced. So make sure you sync all the calendars from your Google Calendar to your iOS device that you want to see on that iOS device. Next, you're going to go to Save. And you now have successfully synced your Google Calendar with your iOS device.